Imagine, it's late at night and you're laying in bed, wide awake and your state starts collapsing right in front of your eyes. It's a terrifying thought, right? It's not just some wild fantasy. Remember the turbulent tornadoes that affected the Oklahoma City area in 2013? No one thought about it, it happening. Fortunately, not all states will crumble the same way. Some places will collapse faster than you can imagine, while others might hold on a little bit longer, giving people a chance to move on or do whatever they want. So buckle up as we reveal the first five states that will collapse. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more eye-opening travel content. West Virginia. Kicking off with a state located in the eastern part of the United States in the tree-covered Appalachian Mountains, called West Virginia. This state is dealing with a lot right now with one of the biggest problems being natural disasters. You can wake up with your house filled with water from the flood. It's been happening, and it's because the state is located near the mountains which makes it prone to floods. To be very specific, within the last 10 years, West Virginia had over 1,600 floods, causing a lot of damage and loss of life with one of the deadliest ones happening in 2016. The 2016 flood killed at least 26 people and left about 32,000 homes and businesses without power. According to West Virginia Division and Homeland Security and Emergency Management, more than 60 secondary roads in the state were closed during that period. The flood also resulted in the loss of properties worth of over 1 billion US dollars. Another reason why West Virginia is at the edge of collapse is the opioid crisis that had cost the state almost $99 million every year, which represents a huge chunk of its economy. Most people living in West Virginia are uneducated, as the state is ranked as the most uneducated in the country. These guys take drugs and are not educated on the side effects of these drugs. This has led to the state spending money on healthcare, treating people with addiction, and drug overdose deaths. Money that would have been used to develop certain parts of the state is now being used to treat drug addicts. West Virginia also has some of the worst health statistics. The healthcare in the state is something you would not want to experience. Access to healthcare facilities is really difficult, especially in remote areas where hospitals are scarce. A report from Forbes confirmed that West Virginia is the most unhealthy state in America. Based on their analysis, the state has the highest rates of chronic illness like obesity and diabetes in the nation. Where else do you need to know that the state is at the edge of collapse? Puerto Rico Puerto Rico is a Caribbean island in an unofficial United States territory with a landscape of mountains, waterfalls, and the El Yunque tropical rainforest. Although not a state, it's a territory of the United States. Therefore, people living in Puerto Rico are citizens of the United States and can move freely in and out of the United States. Behind the landscape of mountains, waterfalls, and the El Yunque tropical rainforest, Puerto Rico has been wrestling with lots of issues that have put it into the edge of collapsing. First, the economy of the state has been struggling for decades. Imagine a family that has been burdened with debt for years, borrowing more just to keep the lights on, until one day, the debts have grown so large they can't even afford necessities. That was the fate of Puerto Rico before a federal court stepped in to help reduce it in 2022. It had a debt of over $70 billion, which was over 68% of its GDP. And even after its debt was cut by 80%, things still looked rough with high sales tax and use tax affecting its residents. Basic groceries and stuff like toothpaste, shampoo, face wash, and cosmetics cost more due to import taxes. Apart from the debt and poor economy, natural disasters have made people living there live in fear. One is Hurricane Maria in 2017, which killed over 2,975 people. It was the deadliest and coastliest hurricane to strike the island of Puerto Rico, leaving it with a catastrophic damage and a major humanitarian crisis. Most of the island's population suffered from flooding and lack of resources. The storm caused the worst electrical blackout in US history which happened for several months. Another one was Hurricane Fiona, which happened in 2022 and caused huge damage, especially to the power grid, which took months to fix. Besides hurricanes, earthquakes, and floods often hit the island. This has made many Puerto Ricans leave the island for better opportunities elsewhere, mainly to the mainland United States leaving the place at the edge of collapsing. Oklahoma. Next on the list is Oklahoma a landlocked state in the south-central region of the United States. 
Oklahoma is prone to natural disasters and has dealt with several earthquakes in recent years, some of which have reached an intensity level of over 7 in the richer scale. Even last year, Oklahoma suffered from deadly tornadoes that killed up to four people and required federal disaster relief assistance. According to the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management, there were reports of injuries, property damage, flooding, and downed power lines and trees across several countries in the state. This one is far off the deadliest tornado in Oklahoma history that happened on May 23, 1999, with winds of up to 300 miles per hour. It killed 36 people, injured more, and caused an estimated $2 billion in damages. Not to mention the one that happened in 2013. Apart from the tornadoes, Oklahoma also has endured severe winter storms, wildfires, flooding, and earthquakes. Scientists linked these quakes to the disposal of wastewater from oil and gas drilling, a practice known as fracking. The earthquakes grew in frequency and intensity, causing damage to homes and infrastructure, shaking the confidence of residents and raising concerns about the long-term risk of living in these communities. Even though the cost of living is reasonable, Oklahoma's poverty rate currently clocks in at 50.3%, one of the highest in the nation. What more do you need to know that the state is at the edge of collapse? California. Second on the list is California. If you're into not living in the United States, you might be surprised about this. There are so many things happening in California that could make it collapse any time. First is a reputation for having wildfires. The bad thing about these wildfires is they keep happening more often and with more intensity. One of the biggest wildfires recorded in California history was the Zacatas Fire, which burned from October 25, 2003 through November 5, 2003 in San Diego County, burning more than 270,000 acres of land and destroying properties worth over $1.3 billion. The most recent one was the Camp Fire, which was known as the deadliest and most destructive wildfire in California's history, and the most expensive natural disaster in the world in 2018, in terms of insured losses. In 2020 alone, a record wildfire season burnt over 5 million acres across the state and displaced hundreds of residents, with many losing their homes. Guys, we are just scratching the surface. Apart from wildfires, California's natural resources are also in trouble due to the climate change. The state is losing groundwater fast, which means less water for farming and drinking in places like Siama Valley. That's not all. Natural disasters are very common in California. Over the last 67 years, the state has experienced at least a dozen serious earthquakes, including the Loma Prieta earthquake and the 1994 Northridge quake which was the most costly in the United States history. The Northridge quake caused the deaths of 57 people and over $20 billion of infrastructure damage. Living in California is very expensive. Housing costs and cost of living are very high. In fact, alongside million-dollar homes, you'll find tent cities and people living in doorways and streets. Plus, the summer heat is driving people away. In the next 10 years, the heat and drought will increase drastically as the state is suffering badly from climate change. Florida is a state in the southeastern region of the United States where it faces a higher risk of tornadoes, floods, and hurricanes. In 2023, Florida faced the most natural disasters in the United States. Everyone including those living in the rural and urban areas is often affected. The villages in the state see sinkholes due to the extensive groundwater extraction to the maintain golf courses and lawns. Although it's not sustainable, it's mainly because a whooping 92% of Florida's residents live in urban areas. Also, the fact that the most of its groceries are imported into the state makes it even more prone to collapsing because if the supply lines get cut, you know what I'm talking about. Talking about the supply line getting cut, during 2017's Hurricane Irma and 2018's Hurricane Michael, which were the strongest and the most destructive hurricanes in the state's history, destroyed many businesses and left people homeless. Hurricanes and tornadoes aside, Florida is no stranger to severe thunderstorms that can produce lightning, hail, and heavy rain. Florida is one of the states in the United States that has taken steps to minimize weather disasters like hurricanes by building up its coastline with sandbags and installing advanced weather warning systems alongside major city coastlines. But that's not all. 
The high cost of living, driven by rising housing prices and insurance costs, coupled with the high crime rate can cause people to leave the state which could lead into the collapsing. In another video, we talked about the fastest dying states in the United States, where we revealed how various states are struggling with economic decline and population loss. Watch the video on your screen so you don't jump from frying to fire by leaving the states mentioned here to the fastest dying states. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more mind-bending travel content.